So now that I have my seam filed flush, my next step is just to blend that seam in with the rest of the piece. So normally what I use is this Micron paper. Gives you a really even finish and it's very effective. So most important thing, stop cutting your sandpaper into little tiny pieces and trying to sand it. Stop it. You want to use the whole piece. You want to fold it up just like this. Um, my method called the board secretary because it's basically just like buffing your nails. You want to hold the sandpaper loosely in your hand. That way you're not creating any stress or anything. Um, and light and fast. You will be shocked at how much faster it is to go light and fast than it is to try to like sort of concentrate and press hard. I'm sorry, I always make the little squirrel face um, because that's what we all do when we're trying to press hard and do the little squirrel face. So don't do that. Relax your hand, fold up the whole piece of sandpaper and you just go back and forth just like this, like you're buffing your nails. It's amazingly fast. And it is the easiest and fastest way to get a consistent finish. Because basically what you're always trying to do with anything is get to a consistent finish, right? Get out the deep scratches and then get everything the same. The degree of polish you want is something you can decide later. But normally anytime I'm cleaning up anything, before I'm gonna attach anything else to it, before I solder a back sheet on or whatever, I'm gonna get everything to a 400 micron finish. Okay, so just like this. And literally, light and fast will do the job perfectly. So I'm gonna do that all the way around until everything is consistent. Um, important rule to remember when, when cleaning up or polishing or whatever is like, the time to fix something is always now. Don't leave anything for later. It just gets harder and harder to clean things up. Once you attach other elements, it becomes harder to like to, to fit in there or whatever. So before I attach anything to anything else, I'm always gonna get it to like a 400 micron finish. You will grow to love the board secretary, I promise. And I'm just working my way all the way around. You know what I mean? I work a little section, I look at it. If it all looks consistent, I just go on to the next spot. Because very quickly you won't be able to really even practically see where your seam was anymore, which is the goal. So that's it. The bezel is now completely cleaned up. I'll do a little close up and show you, but the whole thing now looks consistent. The seam just looks like the whole rest of the piece. So now I'm ready to go to the next stage. Now, if for any reason I've had some like deep scratches in the bezel, I might have used regular 400 sandpaper, which is a little more aggressive and takes away more metal. Um, that's what I'm gonna use when I actually sand this down level. Cause that's what you use when you're trying to like m remove material. You know what I mean? When you're trying to level something out or whatever. Um, I'm not usually using the Micron. The Micron is a little more delicate. I'm using something to really like, you know, get that extra stuff out of the way. That's the regular 400 sandpaper. Now you shouldn't have deep scratches in the side of your bezel. But if you do, I would go with the regular 400 over the Micron. And then in the future, I would take steps to make sure I don't have deep scratches in the side of my bezel. So if you're looking for just a nice consistent matte finish, that green micron paper will leave you with this, which is very tidy and nice. Um, and at that point, basically, I consider it ready to go on to whatever your next stage might be. If you want a little higher shine, you can use the micro mesh papers uh, to go all the way through. But, you know, it just depends on how much shine you like. I usually just recommend people experiment a little bit. But generally speaking, the cleaner and the tidier that every one of your bezels or elements are, the whole piece at the end requires extremely little cleanup, and that's really the goal.